As General Secretary of the Rice Producers Association and as Member of Parliament for the People's Progressive Party Saving, I also took the opportunity to update residents who are mostly, mostly farmers of crops, livestock and rice about the measures that the budget contain to bring about relief to the farming communities. Uppermost there, of course, is the fact that um, the government has taken the step to remove all taxes that are imposed on the agriculture sector as of post-2015 elections. Uh, top among those taxes, of course, was the land charges, which was increased from $1,000 to $7,000 per acre in the MME area. The drainage and irrigation charges were increased from $2,500 per acre to $8,000 per acre, which means that it has moved the charges from a total of $3,500 to $15,000 per acre, and the farmers were unable really to move ahead with their activities because of this. The government also removed the VAT on agriculture machinery and equipment, the VAT on fertilizer and chemicals. So we are able to brief residents of this community about the intention also for the government to start the process of building a road alongside the right bank of the Maikoni River to link these communities. GWI will also be taking steps to ensure that residents in these areas benefited from potable water supply. It will not be from house to house from the first instance, but we're doing feasibility studies and I also serve as vice chairman of the GWI board of directors. So I'll be paying particularly a personal interest in this area to ensure that our residents, especially in the dry season, that they get adequate water supply. So our major function here was to bring the news and give snippets of um, the budget to our farmers and the residents of this area. And also as a gesture from the People's Progressive Party to bring just about 400 hampers targeting the families of this area and to bring them up to speed is what is, what is in the budget for communities like these.